Jesus, may we never, ever lose the fascination and the captivation with just the beauty of your face. With just the beauty of who you are. In childlike wonder, In childlike wonder, you captivate me like the first.
get to love on you. And we as your kids get to run into your presence. That you know us each individually. You know our name. And you know every name of every person in this place and in this city. you up, Jesus. Draw all men and women and children, Lord, to yourself. I ask that you would even begin to speak to the hearts of individuals. That they would hear their name. That as we lift you up, Jesus, that they would hear your name. And that as they hear your name, they would hear their name also. You calling to them, God. You calling to them. sing songs of deliverance. By name, you sing songs of deliverance. Over those that know you and those that don't know you yet, you sing songs of deliverance. You sing songs of mercy. You sing songs of grace. i 
resurrection life has rewritten your plans. So this little lost sheep, this little lost sheep now knows. This little lost sheep, this little lost sheep now knows. And though I've gone astray, you have made a way. All oh, that shepherd's voice I know. of God come flow, let the peace of God come flow, in this room, in this nation, God, let your peace come on in, let your peace rush on in, still the storms that are within, let your peace come The shepherd's voice we know with the green green grass and the peaceful streams that flow and the sweetest sound of the shepherd's voice we know don't fight the peace of God it's coming for your heart don't fight the peace of God it's coming for your heart this is a goodness and mercy that follows me wherever I go. The goodness, the mercy that follows me wherever I go. It's a goodness and mercy that follows me wherever I go. Your goodness and mercy that follow.
Jesus, I cannot get away from the fact that I just keep going back to you know their name. Sometimes we can see with very limited eyes and see a whole nation, God, but you see your sons and daughters, those who already know you and those who don't know you yet. And you know their name. You know their name. So as we exalt you, Jesus, I thank you that you call out their name. That you call out their name and you draw them to yourself. You are not a distant God. You are a God who comes close. Breathe, O breath of God. Breathe, O oh breath of God. Breathe across this land. Breathe across this nation. Breathe your breath of life. Breathe your breath of life over this nation. And if they would awaken to who they are, That you call them your own. Come out of darkness. Come into light. We say light be. We say light be.
exalt the name of Jesus over Armenia. We exalt the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. The name that is above every name. The name that is above all hardness of heart. The name that is above every place that seems like it's too hard to reach. We exalt the name of Jesus. We say that you are bigger and greater and more magnificent and majestic. May we look on you with joy, knowing, God, that you are greater and bigger. That even as a child, we just look up and say, we just say, you are greater. You are greater. No need to fear. For you are greater, the King is here. No need to fear, the King is here. And there is no one greater. No need to fear, the King There we go. Okay. We're good. Okay. From the 11 to noon hour, we're going to be praying um, out of Psalms 23 for young Armenians um, to be sent forth into the nations in the harvest field. Um, and in Psalms 23, it says, The Lord is my shepherd, and I will not be in need. He lets me lie down in green pastures, and he leads me besides quiet waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. And many of us here as missionaries um, know what it's like to leave our hometowns and to go somewhere else and how really, 
how sweet the Lord is in that process. And so just for these young Armenians, that the Lord um, would raise them up and send forth laborers into the harvest field. Um, but that in that, that he would just be such a good shepherd to them. And he is, but that they would feel that. And so open your Bibles and we're going to continue to worship. But that's what we're going to be praying for for the next hour.
are sending out. And for those already here from other nations, God, I pray that they will have a firm foundation. That they will live and move and have their being from a place that is with you. A place as sons and daughters working from love and not for it, God. A place where every day they allow themselves to abide in you. That the fruit would be fruit that remains from their lives, Lord. Fruit that remains. An abiding love, God. A continually allowing themselves to be poured into from your love, from an overflowing cup and not one that it's trying to pour out from something that is empty. I thank you that you do prepare a table before them in the presence of their enemies, Lord. Their cup overflows, God. I thank you, Lord, that you will build their lives on a firm foundation of love and that that love, Lord, will pour out as they go with you in the presence of God. Fully known, fully seen by you. That the lives would be fruit, their lives would bring forth the presence of God every step that they take. And I will build my life
Forgive us, oh God, let your beaming face shine upon us with the sunrise rays of glory, then nothing will be able to stop us. Come back, come back, oh God, and restore us. You are the commander of angel armies. Let your beaming face shine upon us with the sunrise rays of glory, and then nothing will be able to stop us. Thank you, Lord. Nothing will be able to stop us. I thank you for your light that shines and your love that shines, that you steady the feet, God, and that nothing will be able to stop those going forth, God, as you shine on them, your radiant beams of glory. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. deeply connected to the vine. They bear much fruit, fruit that remains. Anoint their heads with oil. May their cup overflow, God.
first prayer point out of Psalms 23 is that the youth of Armenia would find a dwelling place in the house of the Lord forever. It's the last verse in Psalms 23. So I'm just going to pray it out and then I encourage you guys to pray it out individually. Jesus, we thank you so much for Armenia. We thank you so much for the the history they have with you, God, and the youth here, Lord. God, we pray that you would call youth to yourself, Father, and that you would send them forth as laborers into the nations, God. Just as it says in Matthew 9, Lord, the pray that the Lord of harvest would send forth laborers. God, I pray that you would send forth laborers from Armenia, God, and that they would have a dwelling place in the house of the Lord forever. Just as David was on the run, Lord, but he found a place, a dwelling place for you, God. Lord, so we ask earnestly, Lord, that you would seek out your beloved. Lord, that you would seek out the youth of Armenia, God, and that they would find a dwelling place with you, not with the world, not with friends, not with other things, God, but that they would find a dwelling place in the house of the Lord forever. In Jesus' name, amen. That they would find a dwelling place in the house of the Lord forever. They would find a dwelling place in the house of the Lord forever. They will find a dwelling place in the house of the Lord forever. They will find a dwelling place in the house of the Lord forever. That they will find a dwelling place in the house of the Lord forever. They will find a dwelling place in the house of the Lord forever. Send them forth. They will find a dwelling place in the house of the Lord forever. They will find a dwelling place in the house of the Lord forever. As you send them forth, they will find a dwelling place in the house of the Lord.
Jesus, let this be the cry, the Psalm 27, 4 cry of one thing I ask of the Lord, this is what I seek, that I might dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze upon the beauty of the Lord and to seek him in his temple. For in the day of trouble, he will keep me safe in his dwelling. He will hide me in the shelter of his tabernacle and set me high upon a rock. Then my head will be exalted above the enemies who surround me. At his tabernacle will I sacrifice with shouts of joy. I will sing and make music to the Lord. Let that be the cry of the youth in Armenia, God, that they would seek after you with their whole hearts, that everything in them would long for you, would long to gaze at your beauty, would long to just sit at your feet, and then they would be so just enraptured by your beauty and, and by your glory that they would have to get up and go. They would have to get up and go and share the gospel that they've that has so wrecked them. They would have to go and share about this man that has changed their lives, God. Would this be the cry of an entire generation? Would they look at you? Would they be so fixated on your beauty that they would not be the same? Would they be so fixated on your beauty that they would have to go? That they couldn't they wouldn't be satisfied just staying where they're at, but they would they would want to go and preach the gospel to the nation surrounding them, God. Would this be the cry of their heart that you are their one thing that they are asking of, the one thing that they are seeking? In Jesus' name. prayer point uh, Psalms 23 5 you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies and you have anointed my head with oil um, and just as many of us know the army has been surrounded by enemies for so long um, but the Lord actually he wants to redeem that in such a beautiful way he wants to prepare a table of blessing for them and he wants to anoint them anointing would be as like as priests or as kings or even in this case as missionaries so Jesus we just pray Lord that you would anoint Armenians God 
that you would prepare a beautiful table, a banquet feast table for them in the presence of their enemies, God. Lord, in our prayers, the Bible says that they would begin to have a heart to love their enemies, Father. Jesus, as, as hard as reconciliation can be, God, but I pray that you'd begin to anoint them with oil in the presence of their enemies, God. And Lord, in that, Lord, that you begin to send them out. Lord, we thank you for already doing this in Jesus' name.